Hey guys, I don't know about your experience, but this is a, a Tesa. It's made in Spain. But anytime I see this Asa Abloy, I mean, they don't take putting their name on there lightly. They usually mean it's a pretty good lock. This is a five pinner. Uh, there are no security pins in this thing. But it's an incredibly difficult lock to pick. Let me get this up in the vise here real quick. If you want to SPP it, it's really difficult. Now, I think it's because it's made with a very high degree of precision. That's what the key looks like, and you would think, wow, big deal, I can rake that. But in fact, it's not. <laughs> I have not been successful in raking it with any of my rakes. So I kind of was, uh, well, doomed. I felt like I had to, to SPP it. But let me show you a way to get into these. I have three of these, and they all work pretty much the same. If you, uh, I'm going to take my normal... Uh, Peterson hook. I'm going to put it in upside down. You guys have seen the rocking technique before. Let me turn this a little bit. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. We're going to put a little bit of tension and we're just going to rock it. And because there are no security pins in this thing, <laughs> it opens so easily. I can't believe it. It's damn near impossible to SPP, but you can rock or open almost every single time. There we go. Um, of course, if you have one of these, it works just as well, but this makes a lot more noise. Rocking it with your pick really is the fastest way. And I'm very surprised. With Asa Abloy, usually it's quite a difficult pick. But this one, for some reason, they made it easy by not putting security pins in it. Anyway, there you go, fellas. The Tesa. By the way, this is a uh, WR5 model. And it says right there on the key. And I got this from Robert G. 595 back in July. Anyway, fellas, thanks for your time. Stay safe, stay legal. Are you freaking kidding me? Get your ass down there and click the subscribe button already. Show Bosnia and Bill the respect he deserves. I'm telling you, go now, you dirty mook.